Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So obviously we haven't got the green screen up today. Um, I just wanted to get this video recorded pretty quickly so I've kind of set up a little rudimentary setup. If I look over that way um, quite a lot it's because I'm looking to see the positioning in the camera um, because I've got my webcam down there and I'm looking at OBS this way. So anyway, without further ado we'll get on with the whole video. Got a few bits from the auction house, I've just picked out a couple of lots to share with you. So the first lot I paid £15 plus commission and I'll show you that now, I think I've got about four different items from that lot. So without further ado we shall get on with this. So, First off is this, let's just see what our positioning, yeah that's okay, first off is this Royal Worcester, um, I think it's called Worcester Herbs, if I just um, show that to you there, let's see if it'll focus in properly, there we go, Worcester Herbs, um, and it's actually quite a large jug, I'm assuming this is for water more than milk, because it's a little bit big for a milk jug, but it's been hand painted, it's quite nice there as you can probably see, um, so it's got what's on that side, Wild Thyme, on that side and then we've got uh, rosemary I think on the other side there so it's quite a nice looking jug but nothing like really special I've seen smaller versions of these go for about £10 plus postage but I've not found a larger version like this on the sold listings so I'm thinking of going about 20 quid plus postage on this I think that's more than achievable because as I say the smaller versions have gone for £10 plus post so I just thought I'd double up since it's about double the size, I'll double up on price and see if I can't get 20 quid out of that. So, yeah, quite nice there, but nothing amazing, amazing. This was quite interesting here. So, it's like a, um, these are all little glass panels, uh, like stained glass panels. Um, and, yeah, it's quite cool. It's obviously got some age to it. I don't know whether you can see there. It's all rusted at the top and everything. Obviously, it's metal. Um, and they described it as um, like a lead glass ceiling lamp or something, uh, lampshade. So, yeah, I don't know the value of this because I've had a look at it. Like, I've had a look online, but I can't actually see it anywhere. Like, I can't see any similar ones to this. I, I can see Tiffany ones, but obviously this isn't a Tiffany one, or it isn't really a Tiffany style one or anything. So I'm really not sure where to go on this, but I would imagine minimum I'm looking like 20, 25 quid on something like this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to do a bit more uh, research into this one. But it's pretty cool. I've never had anything like it, so it's just just quite interesting really, quite a cool looking item um, and obviously like a vintage item so I'm sure someone will absolutely love that, I just need to make sure I'm not underselling it and I'm actually getting my price right on that but I can't see it being less than 20 or 25 quid, something like that, so yeah, quite nice. So next again from the same lot, it's quite a large sort of, um, I don't know how big, I would imagine... No, 35, 40 centimetres, I'd say about 40 centimetres or something. And it's this uh, Royal Dalton plate, what does it say on here? Home waters, so I'll just uh, focus that in for you there. Home waters, Royal Dalton plate there, as you can see. Really nice one, actually quite cool. Um, I think it's got this like series wear design. I'm not sure whether it is actually series wear, but it kind of looks like it's got that design to it. And you can see it's got a load of ships, I'll just put it there so it's got a load of ships in there and it's quite a nice plate actually I'm only looking about 20 pound plus postage on this plate but I thought it's still quite nice um, it's got a nice design on it I thought that it might be worth a little bit more I thought that maybe it would be worth like um, you know sort of 30 quid something like that but you know some of these things sometimes are not worth as much as you think but it's still a nice plate for what it is and then finally from the uh, £15 plus commission lot, so I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty good with that lot, I'm in, I'm in some good profit, so I'm quite happy with that lot. Um, I got these, these aren't anything special, these are just um, Royal Worcester, let me focus that in there, see if that'll focus in. Royal Worcester, they're just sort of plates, you know, blue and white ones, I'm not sure whether they're hand painted or not, I think they are. There's a little bit of a reflection. It might be transfer printed, but I'm not sure. Now, nah, I think maybe these are transfer printed, actually. Um, but yeah, still, you know, quite nice plates, but nothing really special. They look quite modern with the mark, maybe the last 30 years or something, maybe 30, 40 years, something like that. They don't look like they've got much age to them. I would, yeah, I'd say like the last 30 years or something. Without looking properly at the mark, though, obviously online, I can't give you an exact date. 
Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I've not I've not actually been able to find these on the little bit of research that I did. I will do a bit more research. I didn't actually type in butterflies, but there's actually butterflies on these, so I might type that in. I think it's not going to be a lot. I've got a set. Well, I've not really got a set of. Uh, five, but I've got five plates there. Normally it's like a set of six, isn't it? But um, yeah, so I don't know, maybe 20, 25 quid plus post on them. Uh, being that there's obviously five plates, even though they're nothing special, I think because I've got five plates, I should be able to command about five pound a plate in a bundle. So yeah, that's those ones. Right, so the next lot I paid 20 pound plus commission uh, for. One of the items in the lot I'm not too happy with. I mustn't have viewed it properly on viewing. I must have been a little bit hasty and unfortunately there is something wrong with it so I might not be able to sell it or I might need to like get a part for it or something but I'll show you that one first it's like a um, uh, what you call it like a vintage mincer so I'll just grab that for you so essentially what this is as you can see there it's just one of the standard vintage mincers it's not very valuable anyway really these are like 10 15 pound plus postage um but essentially what it's missing is as you can see this just comes straight out of here um i was have a, having a fiddle around with it because this was all dismantled um so i was having a fiddle around with it trying to see what fits where and i realized that obviously this handle uh, fits on here with this little um sort of Oh, what you call it, little sort of um, tie-on thing here, I don't even know what you call it. This little thing that holds it in basically anyway at this end here. Um, and then obviously you've got something that holds it in at this end. However, the plate that's missing on here I believe is the little like, um, oh, what do you call it, like the, the little plate with holes in so that then when the meat's coming out of it, it comes out in like little strips. Um, so I think that's missing, there might be something else missing, but I don't think so. I think it's just that plate on there, which is a bit annoying. So obviously, I don't know whether, um, well, I can't really sell it like that. It's kind of pointless me selling it like that. It's not going to be much good to anyone. But if I can source a part or something, or I can get it from somewhere or something, I don't know, um, then I might be able to sell that. So I might keep it for a while, just put it in a pile of shame somewhere, and then see if I can ever get a part for it. Um, but I don't just want to chuck it out because obviously if I can get a part for it then it will be worth money and I'm sure that I can just attach that on uh, pretty pretty much no trouble. So yeah, that's that one anyway. Um, I think that certain ones of these are valuable. It might be worth looking at the obviously the writing on it. I think that's what kind of makes some of them a little bit more valuable. Maybe it's a certain name or a certain number on there. You can see there's like a number on there. I think that that's what makes them worth a little bit more money. But I can't be sure because I've not really had many of these. I've only had a few of them. But you do see these quite regularly at the auctions. Uh, generally in just random boxes or, or lots of stuff. So yeah, that's that one anyway. So this was quite nice. Again, in the £20 plus commission job lot. Um, it's quite cool. Um, I don't know what you would call this um, sort of design. Where they kind of like... I suppose it's like crimping the pottery a little bit. But I don't know what you'd actually call that design. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice little bowl here, um, and it is by Royal China Works, Worcester, England, I and mean, then it's got G204, I'll just try and focus that in on the camera for you there, Royal China Works, Worcester, uh, 204G, um, so yeah, quite nice that, and I thought, there's got to be some money, it's got these little, uh, foots, these little three foot, uh, three little foots on the sides here as well, let me just go in closer. So it's got these little feet on here. That's quite nice, actually. So I was thinking this is probably worth some money. Um, it's not worth maybe as much as I hoped. Maybe I would have thought a little bit more than it's worth, but I can get a solid 20 quid out of that, which is nice. Maybe I would have hoped for 25 or 30, but not much more than that. But So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. You know, 20 quid item. Uh, yeah, nice little item, that. Um, it is quite delicate, and I think it does have quite a bit of age to it. Well, a bit of age to it, at least. Um, so yeah, that's quite nice, that one nice little item there. So this is a set of obviously vintage scales. Now I lost the, um, I lost, uh, one second. I couldn't find this. I couldn't find the one, the one ounce, um, which was a bit annoying and I thought, oh no, there mustn't have been a one ounce with it. But I did actually find it on the floor when I was emptying out the boxes and stuff. So I was really happy with that. Because obviously that would have detracted from the value if I couldn't find that one ounce one. Um, so it comes with a set of six weight weights here. Um, I don't know what sort of uh, values the weights are. I know there's like a half ounce, an ounce. I'm guessing like two ounce, four ounce, maybe like what, eight ounce. Yeah, and then 
one pound anyway so nice little set of weights there you can see i'll just hold it up again i don't want to hold it up too much because i think the weights are going to fall off but you can see you know i don't know whether this is just a paint that they've got on it like a, a creamy or a greeny paint on here um or whether it's actually like an enamel um but whatever the case it's starting to come off a little bit I don't know whether that's actually going to help the value or harm the value. I would imagine some people like it, some people don't like it, so it won't make much of a difference. And then we've got this kind of like, um, I suppose it's like a tinny, kind of a tinny uh, little holder on here for whatever you're putting in it. So it's quite nice, this. Um, I haven't really had many vintage scales, actually. You would have thought I would have had by now, but I just haven't. Maybe have, I've had one or something like that. But yeah, it's quite a nice little item here. I've seen they're all over the place, these. You know, there's some that go for really cheap, like 10 15 pounds And then there's other ones that go, you know, crazy money. But I'm thinking with this one, anywhere between about 25 and 30 quid, I'm going to shoot for. And then come down when I, when I need to. You know, maybe, maybe end up coming down to 20 quid plus post, but... Yeah, I'll shoot a little bit high at first and then come down. As I say, it's not like an amazing one, but it's still a nice little example. I don't know the age, but I'm I'm roughly guessing probably 60s, something like that. I can't see it being older than that, really. Maybe 50s, but probably like just 60s. But yeah, quite a nice looking item, this one. And I'm really, really glad that I was able to find the weight for that, because that's obviously something quite important. So then finally, um, I've got a big canteen of cutlery. Now, I've not been through this to check that obviously it's all the right uh, pieces are in there or anyth anything. But basically what I could do is always sort of take the cutlery out. If, if for example, it isn't the right pieces aren't in there, then I can take it out and bundle it up in, uh, in you know, the, the necessary bundles and then do it that way. So it's quite big, so I'm just going to get it up now. It's in this big wooden case. I don't even think it's going to fit on the screen here. Again, this is in the £20 plus commission bundle, um, if you weren't aware. Um, so I'll try and get this open. You know what? I'll probably end up getting it open and then coming back in a second. Uh, probably like cut the video or something. So I'm back now. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually lift up the camera very slightly and just sort of show you this way because it's, it's not going to be good. Uh, me actually uh, showing you trying to lift it up because it's pretty heavy so I'll just show you here uh, I don't know whether you're going to see this but oh it's not too bad you can see whoa you can see there there's quite a lot of cutlery in it and then you've got that there and then I'll put you back. This is really weird. I've never done this style of video where I'm looking here and then I'm looking at the camera. But anyway, uh, you learn something new every day. You learn how to do new things every day. So um, it's got a load of mixture in. I have seen a few different names in there. So it could be the case that obviously there's different names in there and it's not a complete set. But as I say, if that is the case, then obviously I can bundle them in necessary bundles and still get some good money out of them. There's also some Apostle Spoons in there. If you don't know what an Apostle Spoon is... I'll just uh, get one out here. So I don't know how well you're going to see that. It might not focus in very well because of my head being in the shot. But it's like it's got one of the little apostles on it. Generally, you get these in sets of six. And I sell them for about 9 95 Well, exactly 9 95 actually. Um, which is free postage as well. Because these are just a large letter job anyway. So, yeah, you can get some decent money just for a set of six of them. Considering just what they are, it's quite decent money to get a tenner just for a set of six of them. So that's quite cool. I don't know if I split it up. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to sell the box. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming someone will probably want it and end up paying, you know, 10, 15, 20 quid for the box or whatever they'd pay. Um, so I might do that. I might look into doing that if, as I say, it isn't a full set. Um, but yeah, there seems to be a lot of quantity in there, a lot of cut Louis, so there should be some good money there. Um, so yeah, from a £20 plus commission job lot, despite the loss of obviously that mincer, uh, the vintage mincer, I'm still quite happy with my return on that. And between the two lots, there's well over £100, probably £150, maybe close to £200 um, return on obviously like a £40 investment, £42, £43 investment with commission. So yeah, quite happy with that. Not, not a uh, bad little job lot and not a bad couple of uh, little job lots. And I will leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like it, then please do give it a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys.